Hi. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? I am good, teacher. Thank you. And you? A little bit in pain. With this pimple. See that? It's really big. I mean, my face teacher. looks... Me? Oh, my God. You too? <laughs> I... Yesterday, mm -hmm. I... You burst it? You burst it? No, 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 teacher. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, I, wa I was cooking in the oil. <gasps> oh, my God. Yeah. Wow. I don't have a lot of experience in the cook, <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> but, but, I mean, you can cook. Yeah. Uh-huh. In a specific yeah, date. Um, in a specific meal. Special but... special meals? Mm, yes, in a special for example, um in during the Christmas is mm -hmm. my gift for my family. <laughs> That's for good. my whole family teacher. My whole whole family. Whole, whole family teacher. For my whole, whole. family. <laughs> whole. Okay. Estoy dando feedback de ustedes, pero no sé si hacerlo, se me olvida hacerlo en español. <laughs> okay. Good evening, Carlita. How are you? Waking up? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Okay. What have you done today? I'm good, teacher. What's up? A relaxing day. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, guys, you may start the class, please. Have a conversation. You only have six minutes. I need to hear you for six minutes saying hello to your classmates. What have you done today? Welcome, Edwin. That's better. Thank you. The class is all yours. If you want to throw a topic, go ahead. Hello, good evening. Uh, well, to me today, I started with working and well, in my case, I was working around um, editing photos because well, I, in my job, I currently do a collection, uh, the kids collection. So some uh, when I finish the collection, I continue with taking and taking took the photos and then editing. So on those days, I continue editing the photos. Uh, and when I do this job also, uh, if one of the photos that I took is it's a little bad or it could be uh, uh, something that maybe is wrong, I take again the photo and then editing. Um, what's her, what else? Um, but um, another thing, well, two days ago, I was in, it was my birthday, so I, I'm now in 26, so I'm a little older, <laughs> and well, I celebrate with my family. And then I, well, all the week, weekend, I 
stay with my boyfriend and then well we did we do we did a different activities for example we go we we go we went to the volcano uh to dinner and to stay the night in the night there and uh, well the the weather was a little um it was a little raining but this is not too much so it was a uh, it was cool because also it was it was cool because it was it was cold on the in the Airbnb that we went and I think just uh I the I think it's just about um, a little about me on those in those days. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah. Twenty six. I think we we all envy you. Well, maybe not Kenya. I don't know Kenya. How old are you, Kenya? Um, I'm twenty two years. Oh old. my God. <laughs> she she yeah. is the, she's the baby. I think. Yeah. <laughs> she's centennial. Oh my God! Can you imagine? And tell me, what would you do if you were 22 again? Mm. <laughs> That's a honestly, difficult question. Uh -huh. Honestly, uh -huh. I think I I will leave the country. Uh, no, I honestly I can't. Mm, I can't uh, to say that the same the same life teacher, because in this moment, uh, I think <laughs> if I change anything, mm, my life was different. But would be, for would me, be, would be different. Would be, could be different. Mm -hmm. And for me, it's very important. My son, my husband, my world. My... Honestly, I, mean, I, I know. You... How do you say, teacher? Um, es, cuando es, suena así como muy, muy común, muy frecuente, but in my case, it's true. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. The, why? Did you, you're happy? Are you happy? Yes, I am happy. Because okay. yeah, when you become a father, it's difficult to say, oh, you know yeah. what? Yeah, I will, I will change yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. why. I, that's why I love, I love the time machine, the movie, time machine. Time machine. I hate it. I hate it because it's true. I mean, when it when they say that you cannot stop death, death. Ah, can, yeah cannot be stopped yeah. and I, I, he tries to to save his um fiance his fiance many mm -hmm. times and he can exactly. make it that that's a beautiful it, movie i do say cursi teacher i, I my, that's my a fancy a fancy movie possible sound cursi sorry yeah a fancy movie no 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 my my answer related to the your, your, your question oh mm -hmm. okay but for me, it's true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, it's okay. Don't worry. It's corny, corny, pretentious, corny, C O R N Y. Corny. Yeah. But it's okay. I wouldn't change anything, honestly. But that man being 22, you know what I will change? My diet. My diet, maybe taking care a little bit of what I used to eat, doing some more exercise, gaining more muscle. Yeah, that. Avoiding the big belly. Maybe for the men is for easier men? in compared with the women. Okay, for men is different in comparison with it's women. It's easier. It's easier. To lose, lose, to lose, to lose, we lose weight. Mm -hmm. You know what? I, I, I heard that, but you, you know what? I have bad news for you. I have terrible news. 
last week I spent six days drinking uh, beet root beet, not beetroot, beetroot uh, shake. Do you remember I told you I was eating only that? Just breakfast and dinner, I was eating the root beet with carrot, ginger, cinnamon, and an, and an apple. That was my breakfast and my dinner. And I suck it up. I really became disciplined on that. But guess what? I didn't lose weight. I didn't lose weight. Nothing, teacher. Nothing, nothing. I'm still the same weight. And I'm like, I didn't do a lot of exercise. I run, I walk, but just for an hour every day. But mm. you maintain your weight. I still weight the same. Yes, so that but, was very. But you say, was, teacher, don't. No, that, that's not good. For nothing. I mean, <laughs> no one has told me, but I didn't reduce not even one pound. And like, oh my God. No, one week is. is. It's not enough time, teacher. But Anna, tell me, I was eating nothing. I was like no, SpongeBob. I was like SpongeBob. It's not good, teacher. Eating, eating it's not, air. It's unhealthy. It's unhealthy, I know. But yeah. oh my god, I don't know. I, I was disappointed, honestly, because I, it was difficult. It was difficult. Maybe I have to stop the sugar. You know, I don't know. <laughs> well, if you know about any secret, just let me know. No, teacher. Cut the belly, cut the belly with a knife. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, let me do the attendance so we can start today's class. Um, I have some jobs for you. Tonight, we have to create a program based on what we have started. That's our main goal. But we're going to start with a conversation that you are going to create in a professional way. So before we continue, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Excellent. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Remember to turn on your camera, please. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Gabi, Gabi, Gabi. I think I thought I saw her. No. Okay. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Thank you. Carla Veronica Vasquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Excellent. Kenya Michelle Lara Sayas. Present teacher. Yeah. Nelson Edgardo Sanchez Ramirez. Present teacher. Yeah. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Thank you. Rosalena Salgado de Serrano. Good evening, present. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramirez. Presente. Excellent. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Not here tonight. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Good evening, present. Excellent. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Excellent. So please take notes. We're going to go one by one with the following phrasal verbs. I have some phrasal verbs that I want you to understand and put in practice. How are we going to put this in practice? Eh, just making up a story. So the first one, let me just grab something to write on and show it here. Okay. Let's go on 36. So the first phrasal verb that we would like to study tonight is to ask around, to ask around or ask around. This is the first phrasal verb. What is to ask around? The definition, to ask many people the same question. It's like find out, investigate, you know, do a research on something. An example, I will ask around to find out who wants to go to lunch together. Huh. Who wants to lunch to go to lunch together? 
to go to lunch together, to go to lunch. Okay, so I will ask around to find out. That sounds a little bit redundant. I will ask around who wants to go to lunch together. Can you give me another example? Another example? Can I say I will ask around for help? Okay, yes. I will uh -huh. I will ask I will ask around for help to decide which dress can I buy. Which dress to buy, exactly. Which dress to buy. Yeah. So it's like asking everybody, hey, what do you think about this dress? What do you think about this one? Yeah. Asking the uh, everybody else's opinion, somebody else's opinion. Okay, somebody else, another example, great job. Okay. It's possible, teacher, it's possible. Yep. He, he, I will ask around. Mm -hmm. uh, and to to we are playing to to what to what to what are playing are playing soccer i will ask around who wants but i continue who using who wants yes, who wants who wants to watch to the soccer match okay I'll ask around who wants to watch the soccer match on Saturday. I will ask around what? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Another way of doing this is using something else. Let me ask around. Can somebody continue the phrase? Continue the sentence? Carla, let me ask around. Let me ask around. Uh, let me ask around. Always. Let me ask around about the situation before embarking. Before starting. Oh, before starting. Or before shipping. What are you trying to say? Let me ask around about the situation before starting. Okay, so let's say that something happened and you had an event and just before the event, before starting the event, you found out that two people fought last night, you know, that there was a discussion between two of your employees and that will yeah. affect the event. So let me ask around about the situation before starting. It's right, teacher. Yesterday, totally. I mm -hmm. asked around to my family who do the Christmas budget. To my family, my family who do the Christmas budget. Who who does? Who, a, who ah yes, who does the Christmas budget? Or who will do? Yeah. Who will? Do? Who will do? Yes. Right? Who will do? Yes. Who will do? Yeah. Okay here we don't need we don't need the uh, question mark okay we don't need it we don't need it i know yeah the, the no. question. yesterday i asked around my family i asked around to my family i asked around my family who will do the christmas budget okay so that's an example with to ask around that's our first phrasal verb let's go with the next one these are business phrasal verbs Okay, next one, to come across. Oh, no, 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 to call back. This is easy. This is an easy one. Okay, to call back. The definition, to return a phone call. To return a phone call, so simple. I called her yesterday and I'm waiting. Wait, I cannot do this, sorry. And I am, or am, 
and I'm waiting for her to call back. Okay, I called her yesterday and I'm waiting for her to call back. Simple as that. Okay, can you use it in a sentence? Tell to my mother that I'm going to call back later. Excellent. Tell your mother. Tell to my, tell to? Mm -mm, tell your. No. Ah. Tell my mother. Tell my mother. Okay. My mother. Uh -huh. That I. That I'm going to. Okay. Call um, I'm going, I'm going to, to call her back. I'm going to call her back. back. Later. 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 Okay. She told, my... she told me to call back. She told me to call back. She told me to call back in X minutes. Mm. Okay, in five. Oh, this is something else. Uh, she told me to call back in five. It's in the context that is five minutes, okay? One more, Walter. Something so easy. Your microphone. And let me mm -hmm. to call back. Mm -hmm. I don't need to use the um, the preposition to, right? So let me call. And let me call. Let me call back. And let me call back. And next, next which? Next week, okay. Week, week, week. week okay. Week, week. Week. Repeat, Walter. Week. 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 Ay, very good. Week. week. Para week. que no se le olvide, acuérdese de Big. Big. Eso le decimos bien, ¿verdad? ¿Dónde está el Big? Big. Big. Week. 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 Very good. You got week. it. Thank you got you. it. Okay. Let me call back next week. This is a separable phrasal verb. You can add an object in the middle. Let me call, let me call him back. Let me call him back next week. Call. Let me call them back you. next week. Let me call you back next week. Okay. Hey, you know what? I'm taking a shower right now. Let me call you back. You see, I'm taking a shower right now. Let me call you back. Okay. As easy as that. Hey, let me call you back. I'm in a meeting. Let me call you back. Is this unprofessional? No, it is very professional. It's okay. Okay. Next, to come across. To come across. Definition to find unexpectedly to find unexpectedly for example if you come across my keys while you are in the break room please bring them to me hey if you come across rosalena on the street say hello to her for me to come across to find someone um, out of the blue, you know, it's just something that happens suddenly in case mm -hmm. it happens. Yep. Can I tell me? Mm -hmm. If you come across with Carlita. Mm -hmm. uh, don't, don't say with. Uh, if you come across Carlita, mm -hmm. uh, please, how do you say, mandarme les saludos? Please say hello. Ah, please say hello. From me. For me, de mi parte. For me. Yeah? Yeah. You si come te cruzas, across. yo, si te, si lo encuentras en si el camino. Si te cruzas ¿sí? con fulano, ajá. Uh -huh. si, si la ves. Si la ves. Dile que. Right, okay. Kenya, give me an example.
If you come across my father, please tell him to give me some money. I need it. Oh my God, <laughs> an absent father. Okay, if you come across mm. my father, tell him I need money. I need what? I need money? Yes, tell him that, that I need some money. Uh huh. I need some money. Yeah, this is something you will you will say to one of your sisters, right, or brothers. I need some money. Okay. Oh, if you come across a one hundred dollar bill, it's mine. Okay. <laughs> For example, can I say, uh, my my sister is in San Francisco. Maybe you you come across her. You might. Good job. Good job. Let's see. My sister is it in is San, San Francisco. Tokyo. I mean, sorry, <laughs> San Francisco. <laughs> okay. You possibility. Come across. There's may, a may, uh -huh, may uh -huh. you might. You uh -huh. might come you might across come her. Across. Uh -huh. You might come her. Now I want you to notice and pay attention to this. When you use this, don't say to her. Don't add a preposition after come across. Okay. And this guy is not separable. You cannot add an object in the middle, like in the previous example. It's not a separable phrasal verb, okay? My sister is in San Francisco. You might come across her. Yeah. And yes, it's, it's not, you, you don't have to say with. Like in this uh -huh. example, you might come across with her. No, you might come across her. Okay. It's like saying you may find her on the way, you know, okay. you may see her on the way. Okay, so those are three, but there are more. Oh, look at that. There's an emoji on your WhatsApp. Okay, that's good. Okay, to come across, to drop by. Hmm. This is a good one. I like this one. I'm just going to finish with this one so you can start working on something with this phrasal verbs. And these are actually um, office phrasal verbs, business phrasal verbs. You know, you can use them in your job and it's okay to drop by. So number one, notice this goes together. And this is not common. This is not common to see us a phrasal verb where the verb, what's the verb here? What is the verb on this phrasal verb? Uh, drop. drop. Drop, right? And the preposition is by. So remember, a phrasal verb is composed always by one verb and one or two prepositions. Again, one verb and one or two prepositions. Okay. To visit briefly, you can say drop by to visit briefly someone, to meet without making an appointment first, for example, drop by my office after the meeting so we can discuss this further. Hmm. Dear boss, right? Hey, Rosalina, drop by, <laughs> drop by my office after the meeting so we can discuss oh this further. <laughs> oh my God. Should I bring, should, there's where you ask the question, right? Should I bring my stuff? Should I clean my desk? <laughs> what I would, what? what i do no what, what did i do what did i do <laughs> hey boss come on wasn't me <laughs> wasn't me the shaggy okay give me examples mm -hmm. Edwin. i didn't rob the bank i was just dropped by <laughs> Wait, I didn't. I didn't stole the bank. Oh, I didn't. I didn't stole, stole 
The bag. bag. Wait a minute. I didn't steal. I didn't steal the bag. I was just drunk by there. <laughs> it's just. This is mm, a common for people who. Huh. You can separate it when you conjugate it because on phrasal verbs, remember, you conjugate the verb. Be careful. Don't get confused. Don't say dropping, drop buying, drop buying, uh -uh. dropping by. Yeah. Okay. So I didn't steal the bank. I was just dropping by. Okay. Interesting. So these bags are not mine. <laughs> so, okay. These are not my bags. One more, one more example, and, and we move on. Uh, Wilfredo, try it. Mm. Adriana, give it a try. Okay, um, you can drop by in your parents' house. I'm sorry, you can drop by? In uh, uh, two or four um, parents' house? Look at this. For my children? Oh, parents or oh, fathers. <laughs> Look at this. Very good. You can yeah. drop by. Number one, Adriana, you, you don't need to say. Uh, sorry. Thank you. You can. You, you don't need to say you can too. Acuérdese que y todos, todos, porque varios han hecho esto. Eh? Después de los modales no viene una preposición, sino que viene un verbo en su forma base. De nuevo, todos los modales llevan un verbo. No, perdón, llevo un verbo en su forma base después de ellos, no una preposición, ¿ok? So, you can drop by Karen's for my children. You can drop by Karen's for my children. In case you didn't know, this means the house of fulana, ¿ok? Hey, where's the party? Oh, is that Susana's? Where's the party? Oh, is that Susana's? Uh, hey, where are you going? Where are you going? Um, to my mom's. You, you got it? Where are you going? Hey, where are you going? To my mom's. To my mom's. I can even say, oh, my mom's. My mom's. You see? In a natural conversation. My mom's. Okay. Sir, can, I, can, mm -hmm. can I say, I was wondering, can I say, get dressed, get dressed by yourself, and I'm going, I'm going to drop, drop by, drop by? Drop you by. Uh huh. Drop mm. you by. Or drop by you? No. No. <laughs> you can say drop by you. But you cannot say drop you. Te voy a tirar. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's the point. Drop by is a synonym of stop by. Okay. okay. Es como de pasón. Uh -huh. Sí. Date una pasada. Date oh. una pasada. Can you? Can you? Uh -huh. I'm sorry, Rosita. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. In expression, in Salvadorian expression, teacher, te caeremos. I te caigo, huh? Can you, hey, I'll, I'll drop by. Can you come, can you come by my, can you come, can, no. Can you drop by my home? Correct. Can you drop by my house? Ah, can you, can you drop by my house at night? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. Why don't you drop drop by for for a coffee? <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> hey, why don't you drop by for a coffee? Sure, give me the address. 
Oh, no, 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 no. Send me your location. Send me your, as if, send me your location through WhatsApp. Hey, uh, that's easy. Okay, so you have phrasal verbs and you have some more. Um, on this, I'll send them to you straight. So those were four and there are a total of 10. Some of them are more complex to others. What I want you to do is just create short, you know, uh, or sentences. We're going to create six sentences with this phrasal verbs, okay? The next one, I like the next one to figure it out. Figure something out. Figure something out. And look at the example. The solution isn't clear to me right now. I'll figure it out. This is, this is the most common. That, that's very common. In, but... the, in, in the movies. Yeah. I don't, I don't know how, how can I figure it out. This. <laughs> yeah. How, no. how can you? What? I don't know how can I figure it out, this problem. I don't know how, no. to, how I can figure it out. I don't know how can I figure this figure program out. out. Figure this program out. Ah, okay. Because that, that one is separable. Separate. Okay. It's separable. 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 Okay. You can add and you must add an object in the middle. So I don't know okay. how to figure this out. I don't know how to figure it. Man. Uh, to my to my wife, right? I don't know how to figure. I can figure you out. I'm sorry. I cannot. I, I just can't figure you out anymore. Ah, okay. So yeah, no, 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 no. Bad teacher. Bad teacher. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> the next one is good as well to run by, to shop around, to think. Object over. Think, come on, think it over. Come on, think it over. Easy. To write up. And last one, to zero in on. That's difficult. To focus closely on something. We can zero in on the candidates, zero in on. Hmm. Think about it. So all you have to do is make sentences on your group. So you choose... The first one um, that we're gonna do, we're gonna start with to figure something out. And each one of you give an example and you decide what's the best sentence, okay? You got it? Good? No, not good? Yeah, okay. We are 15 tonight, oh my God, awesome. Let's do four groups, okay? Three or four participants, please. Únanse a su grupo y participen, por favor. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta de lo que vamos a hacer? No, y una vez los uno, ¿qué vamos a hacer, bo? <laughs> <laughs> What are we doing? I'm sorry. Okay, good. One, two, three, let's go.
um, Rosalina, say sentences of what I just explained the teacher. Is the uh -huh. exercise? Yeah, we need to write a sentence with each each one. Ah, uh, okay. With each one, this figure it out. To no run by, to shop around, no to think no. something over, to guide up, and to zero in on. We are going to write one sentence for each one. Um, for example, in the drop? Hmm? No, forget it. No. Only, only this, the, the last, the last that the teacher sent us to figure it, to figure something out, to run by. The last, uh, the last WhatsApp that he sent. Let me, let me do something. understand this moment yeah you understand yeah yeah i understand uh what moment please maybe yeah. i think is the uh, descent okay yeah we need we need to we need to make it up the sentence and then we compare with we okay so okay we, what uh, moment okay what moment take take a a minute no okay. not much <laughs> <laughs> yes okay we need to get inspired. <laughs> Mentira, la que paga más, no es la que más vende. Hello, hello, listen to me. Yes. I had a uh, one sample. Mm -hmm. Is possible, is possible? 
uh, the sentences was uh, was not clear to me. I will solve it with the teacher and then I will give you the answer. Mm. No. You send the, the first one? Yes. You will it out. The sentences? What? Uh -huh, okay. Uh -huh. uh, no clear. How do you say oracion? The sentence. The sentence? Ah, okay. Uh -huh, yeah. The, okay. the sentence was not clear. The sentences were. Uh, the sentences were not clear to me. For me. For me. Mm -hmm. not for me, it will solve it. It with the teacher. We will solve them with the teacher. What phrasal verb are you using? Is uh is bear is bear solvent? Oh uh, no, but we need to use the phrasal verbs. So we will figure it out with the teacher. We will figure it out with the teacher. We will we'll, we'll figure out the teacher. We will figure it figure it out. Figure it out. Repeat, figure it out. Figure out. Figure it out. Figure it out. One more time. Figure it out. Figure it out. Close. You're getting it. Figure it out. Figure it out. You got it. Solo se sonar, se sonar la T al final, Walter. Figure okay. it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. There you go. That's it. <laughs> you got it. Okay, figure it out. Hey, si okay. funciona esto, el silabiado en cámara okay. lenta funciona. Uh -huh. And then I will give you the answer. I will give you the answer. I will give you the answer. Good job. I will be, okay. If you come up. The next one to drive by, drop by. I don't know, could be. Um, if you drop by, could you please buy something for me? What was the example you said? If you, if you um, drop by, mm -hmm. could you please buy something for me? If you drop by, mm. could, could you please buy something buy for me? Something. You said? Yes. yes. Something? Yes. Okay. If you drop by, drop by.
Can we say something like, if you drop by the store, could you buy something for me? Or just if you yeah. drop by? Mm, I guess, uh, it, but, but I don't know. I, I guess I just... Sounds, it sounds better like that. If you buy, if you pass to the supermarket or the store. Or... Yes. Sounds, sounds better. Sounds better. I'm sorry. If you drop by... You drop by to the supermarket. Okay. Please buy something for me. No. Yeah. No, don't say two. If you drop by the supermarket. Okay. If you drop by the supermarket. The, the, super, the supermarket. The supermarket. Uh -huh. Acordate que los lugares comunes como supermarket, dentist, doctor, whatever, the mall, they need the, the preposition. I mean, the article, the. The, the beach, the doctor, the office, the mall, okay? The next one will be figure figure, figure out, out, right? Okay. Figure it out. <laughs> I figure it out. You was thirsty. Do you want something to drink? Again, Edwin. The ten. No, I was I was just saying that when you saw when you saw someone when you that, see someone when you see someone and he, he 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 looks like he, he's thirsty you figure it out if he wants something for drink like as water no i figure out figure out and then you use it in past i figured out you I might figured. be you might be thirsty yes that was the word i miss my mm -hmm. i figure out you might be thirsty so i brought you some water I brought you some water. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a good example. Vea la medicina de Génesis. Can you repeat the uh, the example, Edwin. Um, oh my God, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Uh, I, I, I figured it out. Uh, uh, I figured out. I, I figured out. You wait, wait. No, you, you don't. You, I, you don't need. You don't need the out. I figured, I figured you, you might, might be you might be be thirsty. So so uh I, I dropped I, I brought, brought I brought you some water. 
You got it. I figure you might be thirsty. Now, there you are not using figure out. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, because figure something out means decoding, decoding something. Mm -hmm. Decodificar un problema, right? Solventar un asunto. Okay. Uh, hallarle solución a algo. That's the, that's the main translation. But just figure is like imagine. It's a synonym of imagine. I thought I imagined you, you were thirsty, so. Teacher, yeah. but brought, brought is the, the pass of bring, right? Yeah, exactly. Bring, brought, brought. Bring, brought. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Could you repeat, please, Edwin? The sentence. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I do. You're, you're, you're so bad, man. You're mean. No. <laughs> okay. I figured. I figured. You might be thirsty, so I brought you some water. Okay. Well, if you need to come across to find surprises, we can. We don't need you to find. You can stay across to surprises. Across? To surprises. We don't you find. You have to. Surprise. I'm sorry, teacher. Wait, hold on. Uh, which one are you doing? Come across? Come across. It's, it's nice, nice to come, come across. across surprises, not with. Uh huh. Only surprises. Exactly. Cruzarse. It's nice to come across surprises. Es agradable cruzarse. Sorpresas. Con sorpresas. Ese con está en, text, en contexto. It's nice to come across surprises. Exactly. Okay. The other pair, the pair is. To drop. Drop by. To. Drop by. Hi, for come without making a point to try please drop Uh, could be. Uh, I need to go to the to the beauty salon to drop by my hair. I'm sorry, please repeat, eh, Pamela. i uh, let me see it correctly. Let me see. I have the this, please. You drop by my house. I need to go to the beauty salon. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, go... Pamelita. Uh, I said that I need to go to the beauty salon. I need to go to the beauty. The real beauty salon. By. I'm sorry. Drop by. Drop. 
right? My hair again. To revive okay. my hair again. again. This right? I need to go to the beauty. How long? I need to go. I need to go. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, in my example, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry, Susie. I don't. I didn't understand the your sentence, Listen. Pamelita. I need to, to to go to the beautiful salon. If you if you say I need go to the beauty salon. Uh-huh. It's right. Uh, no, don't 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 forget to separate the verse. I, I need I need to go. I oh, need okay. to go to the beautiful salon. It's right. What is the phrasal verb? I need to go drop the by. beauty. I need to drop by the beauty salon. Mm. I need to oh, pasar okay. por okay. I need no se va to... a quedar, solo va a pasar porque probablemente olvidó algo o pagarle antes a la comentóloga, right? So, whatever. So, I need to drop by the beauty salon. Okay. Can you say? Mm, okay. In the other right. example, can you tell me? Is I don't to drop by in the game. I drop. I don't. I don't. I don't to drop to drop by in the game. I el, don't. El tú drop, no lo necesito. Drop by. Okay. I, I don't, don't, don't right. I don't. Drop I don't drop by the game. The game. I don't do, I don't drop by the game. Yo no paso por el juego. Yo no paso. That's I right, Susie. Don't no paso drop by, by in the game. I, I am not I am not means? when the people is playing. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, Esto es darse un pasón, es decir, detenerse en un lugar por un breve momento. Así como pasa, hey, pasa a mi casa. ¿Ya? Así, ese ejemplo, exacto. ¿Cuál, ¿Cómo lo traducían a ser mi buen salvadoreño? Ay, sí, me olvidó. Quiero ver. Pasar. Date un pasón, date un pasón. Como ahí te caigo, creo que digo. Ajá, ajá, yes, eso era. Te caigo. Cae, cae, exacto, te exacto. Caigo. Ahí te caigo, ajá. en tu casa. Ahí te caigo, en tu choza. Ahí, así, ahí te caigo, en tu casa a cenar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's, that's the meaning, exactly. So think about it. It's not like crossing, okay? It's not like crossing something. It's stopping, stopping by a place. Okay. Crossing is you go ahead, yes? Crossing. Mm -hmm. I need I need more. Uh, no, before. Yes. Before. Before, uh, before uh, taking take a decision. Please. Please run it by. Uh, run it Please, by. Please, teacher. Teacher, you yep. stay here. Teacher, here. what is the, for, this the correct for? Uh, is to run by. To run by or run it by? Run by. Because in the example, is the run it by. Run by, run by, run by. Number six. Number six, to run by. To run by. To discuss something with a person for his or her opinion. Please run it by, run it by Arthur. Explícaselo. Enséñaselo. 
a fulano. Oh. To discuss, discuss it with fulano or fulano. I'm sorry, can you run it by Carla? She understand more about these things. Okay, le puedes okay. explicar a Carla, puedes discutirlo con Carla. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Okay, sure thing. Okay, the, exam the example is that please run by with your boss before taking a decision. Okay, please run, run by. Uh, uh -huh. Remember you say by. run, run by. Run by. Run by. Please run yes. by with your run bus by. before taking a decision. Okay, eh, aclaremos una cosa. Okay. Run by, mm -mm. run it. Necesito el it ahí en medio. Uh, run, run it by your boss. Run it by your boss. Okay. Esto, no es, esto no es un verbo en sí. Acuérdense que hay una preposición. Run it by your boss. Okay. Run it. Run it okay. by y luego el nombre. Porque yo no necesito otra preposición después de by. Run it by to your boss. Run it by your boss. Okay. By your boss. By your boss. Uh -huh. Your boss. Before taking a decision. No, you're no. Yo no, no iría. No, es sí, sí va, este... sí va. El your no. es un adjetivo posesivo. Tu jefe. Ahí sí. Ah, okay. Run it. No, no iría tú ni with. Correcto. Uh -huh. No necesito otra proposición no. porque hay una I que es by. By. Exactly. Run it by something. Run it by someone. Okay. Explícaselo a fulano, okay. explícaselo a fulana. Ok. Ok, teacher, thanks. Okay, uh, the next is to shop around. To shop around. Shop around. Is the is the sing a song shop around? To compare price for shop around. Be sure to shop around. Okay. Be sure to shop around. We should to shop around before shop. Shop. Before shop. To shop around some store offer better rate than others. To shop around some store, como de ver algunas tiendas antes de, but no. Be sure to shop around some store of their better rights. Maybe it's when you go to the supermarket, it's important to shop around mm -hmm. the best, uh, the better offer. Uh -huh. Repeat the question. When you go go to the to supermarket mm -hmm. supermarket es como preguntar to shop around preguntar no es como comparar es como 
buscar. Compare prices. Compare prices. Uh -huh. Get get quotes. Uh -huh. It's like when you're when you're buying a computer, you shop around. You buy. Uh, you start asking for prices around. You know who has the best price. Okay, let's see. That's shopping around. Uh huh. It's the same. I don't know how they say cotización. Cotizar exactly. Or... A quote. It's a, it's a fair quote, correct. When you go to supermarket, it's important. To the, to the supermarket. To, to, um, to the super, sorry. It's to the okay. supermarket, it's important to shop around. Mm -hmm. To shop, shop uh, around, to, uh, bear, to shop around. Okay, we have to go back okay, in just okay. a minute. Okay, before we move on, I'm just gonna do the attendance. It's 9.15 already. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Present. And Anselmi Chévez. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Hi, present. Thank you. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Presente, sir. Kenia Michelle Arasayas. Present. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present, present. Thank you. Roselena Salgado de Serrano. Present, sir. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present, sir. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, teacher. And Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present, teacher. Okay, congratulations. We are all here. Bien, estamos todos acá unidos eh, en la sesión. Eh, esto se ha vuelto algo poco común en esta clase, se volvió algo poco común, no todos estábamos en las sesiones. Aprovechando, recuerden que hoy es última fecha para completar todos los ejercicios de la plataforma de inglés corporativo hasta el examen final, para no estar mañana con la corredera, ¿verdad? Entre ahora y mañana, bueno, si no lo han recibido aún, ¿alguien ya recibió la encuesta de satisfacción? Sí, yes, no la. Ya saben. Ya saben que no la tienen que llenar, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Está de más, está de más decirlo. Mañana lo vamos a hacer juntos en el en, en la clase de mañana, pues eso que debe de quedar ahí grabado para Insaforp. Eh, mañana es nuestra última clase. Sí, después de eso, pues a quedarse estudiando por su cuenta durante uno o dos meses para empezar más o menos a, yo, yo creo que a mediados de enero ya hemos comenzado, primero Dios, ya nos pasó la, la resaca, ¿verdad? Ok, ya, yeah. hoy sí esa Navidad hay que celebrarla, y en honor a los que ya se fueron, y en honor a estar vivos, porque ha estado horrible, esos últimos dos años han sido como 
No vea. I win so wild. <laughs> we we <laughs> Recuerdo el anuncio. I will survive. I'm so <laughs> Ayudamos a aprender inglés, no a cantar mejor. Ok, so good. Comercial. Give me some sentences. I want to hear from you sentences that you were like, oh my God, this is sounds, this sounds good. Or, or the opposite, right? No, I don't know. I don't know, Willie. This, I don't know, Willis. No, I don't know, Rick. I don't know, Rick. This sounds weird, okay? Tell me, shoot me, shoot me your best sentence. You can type it on the chat if you want to. If you're so shy to speak. I'm going to share my... Yeah. Can I, can I share my sentence? Please. Okay. <laughs> It sounds real, but okay. Using figure, figure. Oh my God! Figure something out. <laughs> figure, figure something figure out. Figure something, uh -huh. something out. Mm -hmm. okay. I write. Um, can you figure it out? The answer to the first question. Can you figure? Figure it out. Figure out the answer. Okay. Well, to the first question. Let's see. Can you figure out the answer to the first question? Yeah. Can you figure the first question out. It's as simple as saying, you can say that as well. Can you figure the first question out? Can you figure the first question out? Hey, can you figure oh, the I first question out? Okay. You can separate it. And okay. instead of something, you got that. Okay. Can you figure the first question out? Hey, can you figure the first question out? Can you figure the first question out? Yep. Good. Okay. So you can understand this better. I figure you were gone. So I went to take a bath. I figured you were gone, so I went to take a bath. En este ejemplo, no estoy ocupando el verbo frasal, figure out. Okay? So let's do this in the figure, which is a synonym of I thought, I supposed, I imagined. Okay. I thought you were gone. I thought you were gone. I supposed you were gone. Okay. Next example. Great, Nelson. Yeah, go ahead. Veo que Nelson está interesado en buscar un montón de cosas en su cuaderno y le da vuelta y le da vuelta. Y dice, no, esta no, esta no, esta está chiva, pero no. No, well, I write it on the barrel. You wrote it, okay, go ahead. <laughs> okay. To come across. Let, let you come across my job. Don't say that, watch me, please. <laughs> If you come across my job. Don't, don't say you saw me. Don't say you saw me, please. If you come across my job, oh, my job, sorry, my job, don't say you saw me. Hey, if you come across my job, don't say you saw me, okay? Okay. Hey, if you come across my job, you you haven't seen me, okay? You haven't seen me. Shh. Okay, next. Wilfredo, come on. So quiet. Tell me. <laughs> no, you tell me. <laughs> okay. Um, let me see. To drop by. Okay. Okay. Um, if you drop by the supermarket, 
Would you please buy something for me? Perfect. To celebrate Christmas, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Here we we really need the um we need the question mark. If you drop by the supermarket, will you please buy something for me? If you drop by the supermarket, would you please buy something for me? Okay, good. Okay. And here's where we're um, prepositions change the meaning of what you're trying to say. Will you will you buy something for me? Will you buy something to me? On my behalf? Will you buy something on my behalf? To me, for me, on my behalf. Something. That's it. Something. Yeah. Okay. Good job. And the last one. The last sentence is brought to you by Wendy. Teacher. Okay, Susana. No, teacher, it's cool. <laughs> uh, when you go to the supermarket, mm -hmm. it's important to shop around price of product. Actually, I will leave it like that. When you go to the supermarket, it's important to shop around. Why is it just shop around? Because it is already, it already means that you are cotizando, that you are looking for prices to get the best price. You're comparing prices. Um, but sometimes you don't do that, right? Like me, for example, with head and shoulders, I, I don't change my, my shampoo. I don't change my, um, how do you say this? Oh my God. Sobaco. No, no, the oh thing God. that you put on it. Oh my God. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. <laughs> how do you call this? Armpit. This is an armpit, but... It's an armpit, armpit lotion? No. What is the it? The odorant. The odorant. The odorant. The odorant. <laughs> or yeah. odorant. The odorant. Repeat. The odorant or odorant? Odorant. odorant. Yeah. Excuse me. Do you have any uh, odorant? My gosh. Wazowski. Oh, come on. The odorant. <laughs> You don't remember Wazowski, right? Deodorant. Okay. Mike Wazowski. Deodorant. Mike Wazowski. Deodorant. Leave those things there. Or you see. Or you see. I have to do voices. I'm sorry for my kids. Okay. Teacher, I hey. write it. I use it to shop around in mm -hmm. sentence. I'm going to shop around in another store until I find, until I find a lower price. Perfect. I'm going to shop around until I find the best price. I, I write the best, but I think mm -hmm. the best on the lower. Mm -hmm. I'm going to shop around until I mm -hmm. find the best price. Okay. okay. Shop around is it's like vitrinear, como cotizar, comparar precios. Eso quiere decir shop around. So, si digo many stores, bueno, si también se puede. I, I'm going to shop around many stores. I'm going to shop around many stores. Uh -huh. Be careful with the use of prepositions after phrasal verbs. ¿Por qué? No puedo poner una preposición después de algunos phrasal verbs porque ellos terminan ya en una preposición. Entonces, es, mm, Sounds real. No se puede. Ajá, mayor, la mayor parte de veces no se puede. Okay. So for our next act, for our next act, I'll send you something to your WhatsApp which is just for you to have some supportive material. Really quick, what is corporate social responsibility? 
You know that, right? We have been discussing this a lot, this module. In a few words, what is cost? I'm sorry, corporate social responsibility. Corporate social responsibility. What is CSR? Yes, Susanna, go. Susanna. Hi, teacher. I heard can... you said you took notes. Uh huh. Some... I can't see nothing, only hear you. Oh, really? But we, we can see you and hear you. It, that's better. You don't see my ugly face. That's good. Okay, somebody, what is corporate social responsibility? What is a corporate social responsibility program? Anybody? What is, what is, or, or what does it mean? What does it mean? What is it? Uh, it's a that... compromise process. Uh, okay, Susie, Susie. Is the compromise is the compromise um, exists in the company uh, for for all the people? Is not your employees? Is not your client? Is all the people for society in general? Yes. Okay. Is the compromise that exists from the company? Um, from the company to society. Okay, that's the compromise, the responsibility they have. Okay, so our main goal right now is to create our own social responsibility program based on a company example. So I'll give you the company. Let me split you first. Da, 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 as I usually do. Vamos a hacer exactamente cuatro participantes por grupo. So, ahorita a nadie se le cae el inter, nadie se sale del, de la clase, ok, todo está bien, todo está bien, todo está bien. Um, todos nos unimos y participamos en nuestros grupos. So, um, good. Empiezo con el grupo 1, a la Patricia Linares Galdames, Adriana, Walter y Wilfredo. Repito, Adria, a la Patricia, Adriana, Walter y Wilfredo. Su compañía será una shoe store, una shoe factory. Shoe factory. ¿Ya? Yeah? ¿Qué es una shoe factory? Es que estoy intentando traducirlo en serio, en español. Eh, una fábrica de zapatos, ¿verdad? Fábrica de zapatos. Okay. Una fábrica de calzado. Ok. Simple. Group number two. Ana Selmi, Edwin, Gabriela, y Sandra. Ana Selmi, Edwin, Gabriela, y Sandra. Ok. Su compañía produce ropa interior para mujeres. Ok. It's just a product. Solo es un producto. Ya vamos a hablar por qué tengo que definir el rubro de cada empresa. Alguien se salió del grupo 3. Ok, grupo 3. Carla, Pamela y Wendy. Carla, Pamela y Wendy. Alguien se me salió de este grupo y no sé quién. It's Susana. Me. Yeah, Susana. It's me, Mario. Ok, yeah. So, <ríe> ya la voy a agregar al grupo 3. Carla, Pamela, Wendy y Susana. Ok. Su grupo, su empresa, eh, producirá mochilas. Se las está poniendo demasiado fácil. Mochilas, ¿eh? Y el último grupo, el grupito de, en el grupo número cuatro, de Gloria, Kenia, Nelson y Roselena. Gloria, Kenia, Nelson y Roselena. Su grupo producirá, fácil, wigs. Pelucas. Fácil. Ok. Súper fácil. Entonces, si entendieron, cada rubro puede estar destinado a cierto nicho de, 
perdón, no debe ser nicho de mercado, en este caso, a cierta población eh, en necesidad. Entonces, su misión será crear un programa de responsabilidad social corporativa, programa de responsabilidad social corporativa, en base al rubro de su empresa. Si produzco zapatos, pues, ¿qué parte de la sociedad puedo ayudar? No voy a ir a ayudar a aquellos que no tienen pies. ¿Sí me explico? Entonces, ¿cómo lo voy a hacer? Quiero que sean muy específicos en cuanto a, a delimitar el área que van a ir a ayudar. ¿Ok? Eso está fácil. En El Salvador, donde quiera, tira una piedra y ahí puedes ir a ayudar. ¿Ok? ¿Sí o no? Se puede. Siempre hay alguien que necesita ayuda. Entonces, ánimo. Vamos a crear esto rapidito y mañana lo presentamos. Esto tiene que quedar bonito. Mañana es el cierre, es el último día. No les quise poner algo complejo, sino algo que ustedes pudieran organizar por sí solos, tomando en cuenta lo que hemos estudiado. Tampoco nos vamos a, a clavar en terminología eh, técnica per se, sino en crear el programa, que sea algo tomando en consideración algo. Acuérdense de los valores de, de los programas de, de responsabilidad social. Por eso les compartí ese link. Dentro de ese link van a encontrar en, par, en la parte izquierda, ahí hay un apartado que dice How to build a CSR strategy. Hay examples of CSR programs, pero how to build a CSR strategy. And then you have number one, two, three, four. Get project approval. Set project goals, run a current CSR analysis, research user CSR initiatives. Eso solo es para que se apoyen, ¿sí? Tampoco necesito algo así súper, súper técnico. ¿Questions? Sí, ¿qué vamos a hacer? <ríe> ok. Ya, ya mucho bullying, Tincho. Ajá. Uh -huh. No questions. La... Es la guía, esa es como la guía. Eh, si se quieren apoyar y volver a rellamar la información que hemos visto en la clase, eso sería como los pasos para crear un programa de responsabilidad social corporativa. Cosas a tomar en cuenta, sí, los valores, los valores. ¿Qué valores tiene mi empresa y quiere? ¿Saben que en El Salvador ad hoc fue creada en no sé qué año, no me acuerdo? para calzar al país porque en el tiempo en el que se creó la empresa había muchos pies descalzos tiene Mu más de 50 años teacher. mucho más entonces busquen historias bien interesante hace cuenta de uno de, de lo que tiene en su país y el valor que tienen esas empresas bueno ah, al día de ahora no sé pero sí desde que se creó cuando yo estudiaba en la cámara de comercio escuela vimos ese caso y hasta ganas de chillar nos dieron de bárbaro o sea imagínense andar descalzos todo el tiempo oh my god anyways Let's do it. So I'm splitting you right now. Please collaborate with your classmates. Susana, ahorita. This is script number three. There you go. Let's go. Hands to the job. porque yo en este caso indiqué hay hay en de me I I can I can make the presentation but okay. in this moment no eh, eh, but tomorrow mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. me in okay. this moment I can eh, because my how do you say teclado Cable. 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 My cable is. Um, Doesn't work. Doesn't work. No, no, no funciona. Uh -huh. yes. My keyboard is malfunctioning. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But tomorrow, mm, no, no other problem in May presentation. In this moment, I talk about the, the, what program? What program? And for the shoes fabric. For me, eh, eh, one activity, the program, eh, I give, and eh, we we give shoes in the neighborhoods okay give me a moment rural sun um. I think, mm -hmm. I think um, the first is a right definition. What is the re corporate responsibility and social is the first point. Yes, I think the program is um, defining the activities or defining the, uh -huh, the activity uh, for the res uh, responsible, social, social responsible. Social responsible. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, for me, it's the a program is a, a group of activities for the responsible, responsible social. For example, the company use um, real material. Specific day, for example, the, the first Baby, here's baby in the year. In the, year? Oh, no. the first, <laughs> yes. Or we can ask uh, in Christmas. In Christmas. When, yes. when, 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 for the Christmas? No, I, I believe that is in the new year. Yes, yes, yes. The first, first baby. Uh, but for the yes. month? For the year. Mm -hmm. For the month? This is a proposed. Yes. Yes, este. Ahí dice hospital, maternity, maternity hospital is right, teacher. Na, maternity national hospital. At, hospital. Hospital. Edwin. Yeah, that that's right. You are. I was you, noting. I was noting. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you, teacher. Okay, in this moment, only the hospital, or the <laughs> idea, other or their program for the underwear for the lady. Mm. To 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 can we uh, money money mother. I'm sorry, Susi. Sandrita. Como entregarles dinero también a las mamás. Tiene que ser ropa. How, Underwear. Underwear. How, how will you involve the employees on these activities? 
¿Cómo van a involucrar Ok. a los empleados en estas actividades? Ya. Yeah. Acuérdense que los programas de responsabilidad social no necesariamente solo es ir a dar pisto o, o prendas. No. Uh -huh. No. Puede que ni siquiera den de sus productos, pero... No. Eh, ajá, orientado Uh -huh. en Pueden ese ver sentido. de las ganancias. De las ganancias se emplea y se crea otro programa. ¿Cómo van a involucrar Por, a los empleados? uh -huh. Por ejemplo, in, in, in my... Create, Oh. create, uh, meeting. Mm. Organization meeting. Meeting for the employees. Mm, mm, acuérdense, los empleados tienen que estar involucrados en el proyecto en sí. In ¿Qué a van voluntary a hacer? day. A voluntary voluntary day. day. Yes. A month, every Specific. two months, every three months. Yes. Um, A now, specific how, date. how will the employees help? Will they go and give, I don't know, um, prosthesis? What about prosthesis for, for women with cancer? Mama's cancer. You know, breast cancer, I'm sorry. M women with breast cancer, which is related to uh, on, Anything underwear. program. Anything Underwear. program. Exactly. Ah, Anything yes. program. This is the other, the other, the specific underwear Mm -hmm. for prosthesis. Mm -hmm. For in the the Women, illness. ill, ill, ill woman, ill women, Ill, ill ill women. women. Mm -hmm. That is. This is the other, other. It's an idea. Make, Yeah. yeah, develop it. Specific, specific bra, for example. Prothesis bra. Then, yes, prosthesis bra. Mm -hmm. in yes, and this is very important to to Yeah. create um Program. Consciousness. consci yes con Consciousness. consciousness consciousness Excellent. yes it's very important mm. okay Es como una idea. The company exists. It's like a reference. Yeah, it's more easy to identify to everyone to what kind of um, brand we we use it. For the example, to maybe. Only this idea is for the moment. We can we can yeah, look other name later. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're focusing the program. Uh, the program. I like I like idea that the Carla. Okay, the Yes, cool. I like. how, I don't know how do you say apadrinar, but uh, ah, um, Sponsor. sponsor, Sponsor. sponsor, To sponsor. I like Carla's idea. I like Carlos' idea. Yes, teacher, I have, I have, I have a sleepy for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay, so sponsor. Uh, sponsor. Uh, one school only that the San Jacinto. Yeah. Okay. What is The the name company. of the program? The San name Sansa. Okay. the name Yes. of the program is a uh, The name the program will be. maybe one pack one. I don't know, maybe backpack the dreams, maybe mochila de sueños. Yes, yes, I like yes. Backpack, back. Is backpack this correct? I don't know. No, backpack. Yes, you remember, you remember Dora Exploradora. Backpack. Sorry, uh, when did you share your screens, right? Yes. Because I only, I, well, to me, I only can see. I can only see. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I can only see uh, the whole. Yeah.
Okay. I don't know. Maybe choose a name for the for the program. Um, what was the name that you said uh, before, Rosalena? Oh, I I was thinking on weeks of hope. Weeks, 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 of hope. weeks, weeks, weeks. Oh my God! So that weeks, weeks. Weeks of weeks. weeks of hop. Weeks weeks hop. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's a good name. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Weeks of hop. Weeks weeks of hop. Peluca oh, yeah. of hop. Week 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 week. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Oh, there's there's one weeks for a hop. Weeks weeks for a hop. Not of hop, it's for a hop. For hop. Yes, for. week for a hop. Yes. Can we say something like as the main um you said first it was going to be the yeah, um, objective or the mission, the mission, the mission. Of the, yeah, the mission of the program. Okay, something like, um, we are a company that uh seeks. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, seeks to benefit all kind of people suffering from alopecia and people with cancer, because we know how important it is for each person to see yourself in the mirror and have a change it can create a, a it can create a smile in each person and give hope for a new life something yeah, like that maybe 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 i don't i don't mention the word cancer maybe i'm looking here for that and maybe we can we can mention um women undergoing uh, i don't know how they pronounce Chemotherapy? Chemi 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 chemotherapy. Yeah, the word is chemotherapy. Yeah, but you, you read it as ke ke chemio. Chemio, ah, okay. chemio. Just like women's, yeah, women's on yeah, women's undergoing chemotherapy. Women. 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 Yeah, women. Women undergoing chemotherapy. And uh, women that suffers alopecia. So first, it's a good suffers. How do you say padecer? Who suffer? Who suffer? suffer. Ah, who suffers? Okay. Not third person. Ah, okay. We are a philanthropy company. Yeah, remember that. We we think about it or 
Yo digo que cuando las, cuando ya en este caso Adriana ya tenga formado. So now then uh, we need to to start creating like an strategy that we can use, as you mentioned to to get to get people right that can donate their hair, like offering something. We need the we need the, the sponsors. Oh no! And the first, uh, how to how to make conscious to the people that they can donate the hair. Um, um, maybe something might act. If you want to be part of this program, you can send us a mail, or you can call by phone, and I don't know. Um, we can take your. Uh, yeah, we can take your. What do you say? Your information. For example, and we can give you more information about the program. Um, Uh -huh, or a number. If you want to be part of this program, you can contact us to the number. I don't know. Um, and you, we can, we can explain how about the program is. And we need women that donate her, her hair. And we we put the the how how sorry Gloria tell us. Restrictions or uh, you choose the people, but the 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 foundation choose nobody can donate a hair. I think uh, the people is, is choose or no. everyone. Everyone. Uh, oh, everyone. Only only uh, uh, the required the requirement. But um, imagine I have. The, on, the only requirement. <laughs> uh -huh, the only requirement. <laughs> so, uh, um, for example, uh, the hair, the hair have. Um, ah, did you need the the an special long and the longest? No. Well, yeah, the longest of your hair. Maybe you can. Mm -hmm. Thirty centimeters. Ah, Thirty centimeters. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. No, on 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 processes. No. Uh -huh. No processes. Virgin a virgin hair. Yes. Yes. Okay. No chemics. No chemics. Okay. No clean okay. and dry. Um, corte parejo. ¿Cómo podría decirse? Corte recto. Straight cut. Straight, uh -huh, yeah, straight, straight. Oh, okay. Yes. Is is. El peso lo pone. The teacher is a good comment for you. 
<laughs> no, don't we worry, were, don't worry, don't worry. We were talking about you, teacher. <laughs> I know, don't worry. Cada, cada grupo se queda grabado en la sesión de Zoom. So. <laughs> no, no, está bien, profe. It's okay, don't worry. Okay, we're almost done. So I, I guess you already split the job, right? You already split the job? Yes. Okay. So, so. So, so, okay, let's go back. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it is 10 o'clock already. I hope you got ready for tomorrow to do these presentations. Okay, enjoy the night. Tonight, I'm staying just for 10 minutes with Kenya, if possible. Would you? Okay. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present, good night. Good night. Adriana Estefani Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chévez. Present teacher. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Good night, teacher. Good night. Gabriela Alejandra González Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Kenia Michelle. Present. Lara Sayas. Good night, teacher. Present. Good night, Carla. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Present. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good night. Good night. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present, good night. Good night, Walter. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, good night, everybody. Good night. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present, teacher. Good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good Rest night. a lot. Hey, good night. See you tomorrow. Gracias, Tune. Cuatro de la mañana. Bye, bye. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. Oh my God, they left so quick. Is there a match right now or what? I don't think so. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Are you watching the, the football matches, soccer matches? No, I'm not watching that. <laughs> mm. um, well, I didn't have time this week, um, maybe tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But yes. Uh, oh, and also, I I don't like to see um, matches. Soccer matches. Soccer matches. Yeah. Not even if it is uh, Brazil or Argentina or I don't know a famous. Maybe, one? maybe. Yeah, uh, me too, I mean, me too. yeah. If like if I turn on the TV and you know it's this is. <sighs> And you see that, and you see that it's the second time of the soccer match, and they are two to two. You know, they're even. They're even. Oh, yeah. <laughs> everybody's like, oh yeah. my god, that that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too, me too. If if it is an exciting <laughs> game, the same happens to me with American football. I, I like to watch the NFL, but just during the season, you know, during the season of of American football, I like to watch some matches and. They're very exciting as well. I didn't like I used to like it as a kid, but I didn't know the rules. And then an aunt, one of my aunts, 
explain me the rules and i was like oh my god i like it now <laughs> it's funny like you realize about <laughs> all those things yeah it's, yeah it's more interesting when you know the rules i guess it's like when you're playing um a table game like, on juego like de mesa. chess yeah good yeah like chess because can, at the can beginning you play, can you play chess um i i used to play when i was in fourth grade but right now i just i just you stopped doing about it. that yeah you forgot forgot <laughs> yeah, i forgot, forgot about, about that. that yeah good uh, my son actually recently taught me how to play chess it's good but i tend to forget the rules <laughs> yeah Especially... and when you forget the rules the other is going to win <laughs> he, he always wins that's <laughs> so funny uh, i see yeah uh, what are you taking calls right now yes because it's high season um last week i was working on emails and on friday i was taking calls all the whole day um then this week it's like we have been um we we are having some changes like monday and friday we're going to be um just in calls taking calls and then the other days like tuesday wednesday and thursday we'll be doing emails and another kind of projects like back office Mm -hmm. so yeah but we are getting busier because right now they are like offering ot what's the pro what's the um the product your product it's a home warranty like for repairs replacements um making appointments calling contractors that's yeah. weird <laughs> oh my god we yeah, have a, they... we have we have evolved so much on this business Back in the days, it was just technical support and customer service, and that's it. Mm -hmm. I mean, but <laughs> not so. Wow, Americans are so lazy. Mm. <laughs> wow. wow, 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 wow! It's crazy. Yeah. I have been receiving calls um, last week and this week about uh, oven range. They call it or stuffs, stuff, stuff, um, and they say like. I need this. Uh, I need this work order they call to be placed as an emergency because uh, Thanksgiving is coming and I have, you know, <laughs> a party or I have uh, my house full of people. Wait, we that's, are, like, that's getting crazy this about that. Thursday. It's this Thursday. <laughs> yeah, they, they are so. Oh my God! But <laughs> you know what? It's just they live in a world of rights, mm -hmm. civil rights. After 1952, after the Civil War. Americans realized they had civil rights. And after the Civil War, Black people became aware that they had civil rights. But the problem is that they started demanding their civil rights, their civil rights, and they're doing it still. If you have encountered yourself with a Black person on the phone, they talk fast, they're, they, they, eager you know to get what they want yeah that's right it's, oh my god this now now i want it now no 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 like, oh my god <laughs> yeah, that's a headache but they are on their right yeah that's funny so i was asking you because I, I was wondering what do you do when you are on back office do you listen to music or watch a movie Mm, just listen do just listen to music almost all the time because I'm liking doing the things automatically um just like the main process because I have been working on this since last year like in November mm -hmm. December something like that and then I started uh, CS calls again and then around May something like that of this year um I start working again on back office, but it's just like emails um, and we create a kind of process in our system uh, for sending sending these orders to the purchasing department. Uh, now there's like a kind of updates on what the actual status is and all those kind of things. Yeah, Do they so have it, a quick resolution rate? Um, you know, it's like today I received the call and in two days you have to resolve the issue. 
Yes, it's like from a time, a time yeah, like from us. Um, mm -hmm. it needs to be real quick, not like more like there there. It doesn't need to be a delay. Um, mm -hmm. like not more than two days, not more than that. But yes, I have seen some claims or yeah, claims they mm -hmm. called that are like open since one year or two years and oh there are no results. So, but yeah. I guess that that's expensive equipment or the opposite. It's mm -hmm. very cheap equipment. Nobody <laughs> pays attention. Yeah, it's mm. really hard for the customers. It's almost all the time they are calling angry. And mm -hmm. I really understand that because they are right. You know what and is sad on our case? They only have 60 days to start a claim. <laughs> Sometimes some elderly people, very old people call and say, you know what? I found this card on my wallet. It was a $500 card and it expired three months mm -hmm. ago. <laughs> Can you do something? And I'm like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that remembers me something. Um, reminds me of something. Reminds me of, of something that happened to me. Let me see, it was on, it was yesterday on Monday. I received a call <clears throat> and there was an, a very, um, it was a lady, but she was like, I have a, a policy with you guys. I'm sure that I have a policy. And I started checking the notes and I told her, uh, ma'am, I have um, I have a note here that is saying that you requested the cancellation for this policy because you were going to try with another uh, with another home warranty. And she was like, no, that, that it's an error. That wasn't me. And I was like, OK. Hey, and then she told me, OK, I'm going to go ahead and just check on my notes and OK, just wait for me. And she was like putting me on hold like for 15 minutes that nothing was happening. And she was like, she was in silence. And I was like, hello, are you there? Can you hear me? And yes, she, uh, she was telling me, yes, just wait, just wait. I'm just checking. And at the end, after the 15 minutes, um, she, you know, came back and she told me you know what that was my that was my my mistake I found something here on my, on my I was like <laughs> thank you uh, for spoiling my HT <laughs> yeah that was crazy I'm always now, suffering what can you that. do let me teach you something <laughs> about call centers there you have to play smart if you want, right? If you want to take care of your AHT, I will have said, you know what? Um, I couldn't wait for you that long, but what about we schedule a call back? I can hold you back if that's okay. What's the best phone number to call you? Okay, call me back in five minutes. I'll do that totally. And I call her back. Well, of course I go with my supervisor. Hey, you know what? I'm but, scheduling a call back. But then uh, uh, about that, I'll like, last couple of weeks I, I did that like to you know request a call back to the customer to mm -hmm. provide some information mm -hmm. um and then from QA they mm. put me like a bad score because they heard uh they, they listened heard the call. call they listened to the call yeah and they were putting something like if you promise the customer to give a call back you need to give a call back and there no, of course you have to do it no I'm saying if you can do it do it if you yeah. can call them back, that that's better customer service. Actually, yeah. Tigo Tigo has that option. I just learned that. <laughs> that Tigo has that option that you call them and the VD, the VPN says, if you want to schedule a call back, press one, mm -hmm. and then say your name aloud. Okay, then you say your name. We will call you back be between fourteen to fifteen minutes. <laughs> they call but, you back. But what do you do when, for example, you are back to back? and you don't have any time to call back because um, I was told that I needed to use after call and then I can call back. But after the call, I can see that there is time content on that and I don't want that to be, you know. Like uh, no, 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 no. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, I know. If, if you get after call and it stays there, that's a glitch, but that doesn't count 
towards your wow. your AHT on the, on the formula, at least on our end, it doesn't count. And in our end, when we are back to back, there is a special team to do the album calls. At least one person always, you know, ready to make the album calls. Or we start asking on the queue, right? Hey, can I do the album? Can I do the album? You know, there's an RTA group, you know, and it's very organized. <laughs> That's very important. And in my case, I take like two minutes on each call, you know, now it's so easy. I mean, for, for me, I mean, it will be a scene, right? Say, <laughs> okay, okay. okay. I love talking to you. Thank you very much for joining me. Hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.